Hello, welcome to the YouTube channel Electrical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss possibility of research scope with switched reluctance motor drive. So if you are searching for a research topic or want to know what is current research focus on to improve the performance of SRM drive then watch till the end. Let's discuss scope of research in the field of switched reluctance motor drive. Despite many benefits, SRM suffers from several severe problems. Let's start with problems with switched reluctance motor drive. SRM always required a power electronics converter and controller which resulted in additional cost to the system. Thus, competing conventional induction motor for the fixed speed applications becomes tough for the SRM. SRM always requires a rotor position sensing system which results in additional cost and complexity. It also affects the reliability of the system depending upon the type of the rotor position sensing system. Torque of the SRM depends on phase currents and rotor position, which when operated with stepwise currents result in significant torque ripple. Thus, torque ripple minimization schemes need to be incorporated with conventional control schemes. Due to SRM salient pole structure, its air gap does not remain constant like other motors and it varies with rotation. This unequal air gap results in unbalanced magnetic pull on the rotor pole which results in torque ripple and acoustic noise. Thus, the torque ripple and acoustic noise both are high in the SRM compared to other motors. Torque of the SRM depends on phase currents and rotor position. Thus, the implementation of the torque ripple minimization schemes becomes more complex and computation intensive. Thus, the requirement of smooth torque control and low noise performance may add extra cost to the SRM drive. Let's discuss about latest research trends in switched reluctance motor drive. The researchers around the world are trying to solve the issues of the SRM to provide feasible solutions with reasonable cost and performance. The interest for the SRM is increasing exponentially amongst researchers and scientists around the world. Figure shows year-by-year -year growth in the numbers of articles published on SRM in the IEEE journals and conferences. New research scholars can work on one of the following topics depending upon the selected application or individual's interest. one research scope in motor design designing a motor is a most important and essential task to start a manufacturing unit for any motor industry the srm offers a wide range of motor topology as well as converter topology thus it is important to design an srm to meet requirements and challenges of an application to achieve a speed torque performance for an application with compact size and higher efficiency is a prime goal of the motor design in addition to that Reducing acoustic noise and torque ripple at design level is the latest interest of researchers. Researchers use high-end software like ANSYS Maxwell to design and to analyze the performance of the SRM. Thus, working on the design goal of an SRM needs practice on such software. One dimension is finalized, there should also be an industrial support to manufacture the prototype of a designed SRM. So, most people working on the design goal belong to the R&D department of an industry rather than the academic research scholar. 2. Research scope in converter topology. The main objective of the research in the field of converter topology is to improve the efficiency of the converter and reduce the cost of the converter. It includes design and development of new converter topologies and switching schemes. Reducing the number of switching devices per phase is the most common way of improving efficiency and cost. However, selecting a switching frequency also plays an important role to balance the performance and efficiency. Lower switching frequency reduces the switching losses but it may increase the torque ripple. Thus, to work on converter topology is about analyzing placements of power electronic switches and its operation. However, numbers of converter topologies for the SRM have already been published in the past literature including one switch per phase type converter. Thus, most researchers prefer to just select a power electronics converter topology suitable for the application and to work with the controller design instead of converter topology. Thus, there are very limited scopes to work in the field of converter topology of the SRM. 3. Research scope in controller design. 
As explained in Course Fundamentals of SRM Drive, the design of a closed-loop controller is quite a challenging task for the SRM Drive. To select a control scheme and to design a closed-loop control system to meet the requirement of an application is an important task. Dependency of the torque developed on the rotor angle makes it more complex compared to other motors. Finding an optimum commutation angle and to achieve a minimum torque ripple are the main goals of most controller design applications. The sophisticated techniques like DTC, sliding mode control and even an AI-based control and optimization techniques have been used to design the controller of the SRM. Thus, there is a huge scope of work in the field of controller design of the SRM. Main objectives of the controller design are to improve the torque ripple, acoustic noise and torque speed characteristics of the motor. 4. Research trend in sensorless operation. Eliminating a requirement of the mechanical position sensor can reduce the cost and size of the SRM drive. It may also improve the reliability of the system. A number of rotor position estimation techniques have been published in the past literature to achieve the sensorless operation of the SRM. There is still a lot more to explore and to contribute in the field of rotor position estimation of the SRM. If you are interested to work in sensorless operation of the SRM drive, here is my full course on this topic. Check out the more detail about the course at Rhiney, Tech Skills and Fundamentals www.rhyni.com. 5. Research trend in mathematical modeling. Mathematical model of the motor is required to test the converter and control strategy. Mathematical model represents a motor in the form of a mathematical equation. To derive the mathematical model of an SRM is a little bit complex due to its nonlinear magnetic characteristics. Several methods have been proposed in the past literature to develop the mathematical model of the SRM as already discussed. Most researchers use the built-in SRM model available in the MATLAB library to analyze the performance of their control strategy and converter. However, several researchers are also working on the development of a new and improved mathematical model of the SRM. To study the mathematical modeling of an SRM is a very important part of any researcher working on SRM irrespective of their topic of interest. This is because it also provides understanding about the limitations of the SRM model used for validating a control strategy or the performance of the converter. If you are interested in mathematical modeling of switched reluctance motor drive, or you are interested to learn MATLAB simulation of the SRM drive, here is my full course on mathematical modeling and simulation of the SRM drive. Check out the full course at Rhiney Tech Skills and Fundamentals, www.rhyni.com. Course link is also provided in description. 6. Research Scope and Investigation and Analysis Although the SRM is most suitable for the electric vehicle applications, researchers are exploring and validating new applications of the SRM drive. SRM also has proven good results for various applications like pumps, blowers, power steering and high-speed aerospace applications. Thus, investigating the performance of the SRM drive for a particular application is also a topic of interest for many researchers. It also includes investigation of torque ripple or noise for different applications, different motors, different switching frequency and or different control techniques. Investigation and analysis of different sensorless control techniques is also latest interest of industries. It includes comparative analysis and suggestion to help selecting best sensorless technique for a particular application. So, if you are interested in starting your research career in the field of SRM drive, then you can select the one from the above. If you are new to the switched reluctance motor and want to explore more, then you can check out self-paced course, Fundamentals of Switched Reluctance Motor and Drive. All course links are provided in the description. Hope you get some new information and knowledge through this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. In case you have still not subscribed to this channel, it's a time to subscribe and press bell icon to get regular updates with information and knowledge on latest trends in electrical engineering and electric vehicle. Thank you and bye bye till next video.